trying you hard, I keep bleeding. I don't know why you act like you need us. All right, guys. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Um. I'm literally just in the car right now. I thought like, usually I do regular content, but I wanna try something new. So I am getting ready to go on vacation. Um, I can't wait to show y'all that, but I am ready for my lash plumbing. I mean, my hair is already braided and already back, pulled back everything. The wig's gone, it's braids, y'all. And I'm just gonna start my morning off with my green juice. This one's a sugar brand, sugar brand. Um, usually I do my own juices, but I didn't have no time. I didn't have no more. I actually got to re-up and redo my juices. But this is the one I'm drinking in the morning. And, oh, got to get, there go my last girl. Bye. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Um, today is May 18th, Thursday, May 18th. And happy Haitian Black Day. First things first. Um, but, yeah, the, today is also the day that I go on my trip, my self-care trip my whatever kind of trip um i'm actually doing some last minute things like getting my nails done i don't know if it's just me but my ass loves to wait to the last minute to go get a refill like that shit is just i love getting my nails done but you know sometimes we got things to do and whatever but yeah so this is the first stop my flight is at 7 p.m tonight so yeah we got a couple stops we got to go get our nails done we got to go get some uh look at stuff at target real quick we got to go to the bank drop off some checks because you know we was making checks even when we don't work we working so hey y'all it's the dash and i lied <laughs> i didn't do anything that i said i was gonna do um but i was actually late to the airport miscalculated my time and got there when they were calling group four and guess what group what i was group what i was in group four so yeah but your girl did make it on the plane and this is my view from the skies i hope you guys enjoy it this is me flying i think by the time we were here we were already flying over um the middle of the u.s so yeah this uh, this flight was six hours long now you're seeing the skyline la skyline it is so beautiful and by the time i got here it was 9 p.m all right so now this footage is the hotel that i stayed in it was the senesta um right outside lax it's actually really really nice the rooms are way nicer than the actual like hotel but this is the bathroom it had a tub and a whole a whole lot of amenities this is just like the towels and the toilet had to take a quick you know little flick of me you know tired traveling all day girl zip up the jacket but you know that's your girl all right and then we're gonna go through the rest of the hotel room there was obviously a little closet right here and basic amenities you know hangers and a safe i didn't put anything in there because again i was only going to be in there for 11 hours barely 11 hours then this is the rest of the room basic hotel stuff um not too extravagant the extravagant hotel is the next one but yeah ah what not a not a ac unit yes and this is the hotel oh yeah they had a cure girl did not use it because you know i don't drink caffeine but it was cute and yeah that's me all right guys this is the next day and we're landing in maui our final destination i actually didn't get no footage of me leaving la but this and the six hour flight but this is it we are at our final resting destination maui hawaii and as you can see i left the airport and we're now looking at scenic views the mountains oh my god when i tell you that this was so beautiful it was so beautiful and right now what you're looking at is like the king's point where the king used to like have a trail if you can see it the king's trail there's so much history in maui i loved it so like you can't dance well uh i don't know if it's I, I, it's real gray area 
you know, you're not supposed to, but people do, and, you know. That's very strange, because, you know, Hawaiians are known for their specific type for of dancing. Homeless, yeah. So this is pretty much, you know, the rest of it is like this. I get back up on the highway so you can get to your... Pretty cool. I mean, we let, we let each other in traffic. We don't blow the horn at each other. Yeah, we don't get the finger. Usually when the horn blows and the finger goes up, you know. Yeah. Okay, y'all, this is my hotel room. We are staying at the standard room in the Ritz, and this is the bathroom. It came with a shower and a tub, but if you know the dash, I'm not getting in that tub. I do not like tubs. So, yeah, and then we walk into the main bedroom. You know, standard bedroom. Came with a lot of amenities. They had water bottles all over the place. Um, a really big screen TV. And this little lounge chair that I spent most of the day on and my favorite part which was the balcony but your girl had problems here I did not know how to open the door finally got it open so now you can see the balcony view um, when I booked it it said ocean view but I'm not mad at this this is actually super beautiful and I got to see from if you can look on the right that's where they had the wedding all right good morning time is 7.05 on Hawaii time. It's obviously like a six hour difference, but I did not know that. So yesterday I landed around noon here. So that's like 6 p.m. back home. That shit is so crazy. But yesterday was really like me just chilling, relaxing, having a good, you know, like just a good sleep, a good shower. Like everybody always talks about like hotel sex and stuff. Well, younger people, but honey, they do not talk about that hotel shower. Like that first hotel shower, magic, whatever. But on the schedule today for me, we're going to, um, we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna work out cause we still got body goals and shit to me. And after that, I have like a spa thing. I want to do a facial. I have a massage book, but I want to do a facial too. Um, then they got like some like stuff going on in the lobby. Might go to the pool, might go to the beach. Um, just depending. Tomorrow we have like a road. If you know me, we have a, like a tour. So the tour to Hana, I booked that. That's, that's one thing I really wanted to book. Everything else that I booked kind of fell through, but that's fine. Um, I'm just happy to be here, y'all. Like, I really, really needed this. I really needed, like, somewhere to go where I could just be silent with my prayers. I could be excited. It was just, it was just, like, a trip about me. Like, what I want to do, what I like, and stuff like that. And just to experience something that I've never experienced. Like, I never... Like, you know, you know you can, but it's like, would you, will you? And I did it. Um, it's cool, but, you know, I do miss, like, my friends and stuff. But this solo trip, I think I want to start doing it once a year. Just to kind of get me back into, like, a positive, meditative area. And the next time I book a trip like this, I'm going to do it for a week. I only did my trip for, like, um, four five days five days i booked the trip for five days but like i had a layover for 11 hour layover in la booked the hotel over there slept took a shower whatever but like that was like a whole day and then again i didn't come here until my trip started um thursday the 18th happy days of black day um but i really didn't get to hawaii or maui until friday friday um around noon 
they didn't get to my room until like one o'clock because the Ritz is one hour away from the actual airport here and I didn't even think about that but yeah that's I'm rambling but that's what I'm gonna do for the morning hopefully I bring you guys with me um, and I cannot wait to tell you the shenanigans that happened when I went <laughs> like, like this whole trip was funny but yeah just go ahead and you know follow along just let me hurry up and get out of this bed before I stay in this bed all day all right this is me starting my morning i finally found the um gym the exercise room um obviously these two the gym and the spa are private areas so i wasn't allowed to record much but just know your girl went in and did her thing enjoyed her time and was very relaxed the best thing I could have ever booked. I even got like an oil so um, I can bring it back home. But when I tell you, because the flight literally was five hours on land, five hours ocean. Like the flight is crazy. If you fly anywhere like that, I would suggest getting a massage. Like I always try to get a massage whenever I do flight take us when I went to LA and to Las Vegas. I booked the massage at like Massage Envy, but honey, there's nothing compared to like a uh, like luxurious spa. Like that lady, when I tell you, she she hit points that I didn't even know I heard in. Like, do y'all hear that? Don't tell my students that you say it. Um, I didn't even know that it hurt. She hit those points. Like, and at this hotel, you can. Uh, like once you book it for like the morning, that's what I meant. Like you book it in my, I booked mine at nine o'clock. I went to the gym at seven. Um, came back up, took like a quick H O E shower, <laughs> and then went back because I'm about to take another shower before I eat my breakfast and everything. And went down, um, did work. went down, did the massage. And um, it was literally so amazing. Like, like I'm telling you, you guys need to invest in it because I didn't even know. Like, she, like my whole tailbone, it hurt. Like, and there's, you know, when you go to massages, I don't know who does massages or whatever. But when you go to them, they say, does it hurt or does it hurt so good? And I tell you, this thing hurts so good. I, I knew she was hitting spots that nobody else hit. Like. It was crazy. Oh, okay. Well, like I was saying, sorry. At this hotel, once you book a massage for the day, all the spa amenities are now open. So I had my spa at ten. I mean, nine in the morning. It's now ten o'clock, and um, until four, it closes today. I can go back. So I might go into the sauna. I might do like one of the like, relaxation rooms. I know they have like a salt room, so I might go back and do that. But Y'all, if you think it's too much to book a spa, book a spa. Get a massage. Get a luxurious massage. Don't, don't, like, don't let up on here. Your health, um, think about it because, honey, and I got into an accident a year ago, and I used to go to, like, massage envy and stuff. I still do, like, I still am a massage envy girl, but... I know that there's some points that Miss Carolina saw, um, Massage Envy, she missed. Okay, that's not her name, but you know, um, I don't do real names on here. But yeah, so again, right now it's like 10 o'clock. I'm waiting for my breakfast. Um, and then I think I might go to like the downtown area. I forgot what it's called. And like go get souvenirs. Like maybe in the afternoon. I definitely have a lot of souvenirs to get. I have to get some for Kylie, Ezekiel, Luna, Fritz, Petra, maybe Zach, and uh, like, like, all these people. Like, but like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you posted. Oh, yesterday there was a wedding 
and I forgot to, I saw them setting it up, but I was so tired, guys. Like, I literally knocked out for seven hours, like seven freaking hours. But dang, I really wish I would've got some footage, but it was like right outside my window. Like, ugh, dang, I missed it. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, wait for my breakfast, take a shower, take a quick nap, and then I'm gonna um, call y'all. Hey y'all, I'm back. Right now it's like mid-afternoon. Um, I took a quick nap um, after my massage. And like I'm on the balcony sitting and drinking my water. And I see that they're still having an event. I think they're still having the wedding. Um, I thought I missed it. I swear I thought I missed it. But now I'm seeing them setting up chairs. Let me show you. So can you guys see like they're setting up around the balcony and they're like setting up um, chairs and stuff over there. So cool. Um, I was going to take my speaker out but my speaker's loud so I don't want to mess it up. But that's so cool guys. Like they're literally having a wedding out here. Alright, after all that fiasco, finally went to the Banyan Park in Lahana Square. It was really beautiful. It actually has the exhibit of the third largest banyan tree in the world. Banyan trees are kind of popular in Florida, but this one is huge. It takes over a majority of the park. After seeing that, I went across the street to Captain Jack and had a beer and pepper stick, and it was delicious. To for my final treat, I had shaved ice at the banyan tree, and I did some shopping um, in the little Lahana Square. It's very big for tourist attractions. I had almost everything that I got for my family and friends. So back to the tree, I went to banyan um, treats, got me some shaved ice. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday the 21st, and I'm about to go to it's six in the morning, sorry. It's six in the morning. Um, Hawaiian time, so that means it's like noon in Florida. But I'm getting ready to go on this tour. I'm super excited. If you know me, or if you've been on the trip, all my friends can attest. Honey, I love me a good tour. And I have some of that black composition. You want to know what it is? It is um, sun bum cream. Yo, girl, all the people say black people don't need um, sunscreen. That's a lie, because, honey, I burn. My skin will burn like some chips in the summertime, okay, honey? But yeah, I'm getting ready to go on my tour. I'm super tired, but it's the road to Hana. Um, I had some. I guess neighbors, so some of them were just saying that they went to the Rota Haunted yesterday and they went in the afternoon. They went like 2 to like 11 at night. Um, I don't know if anybody told you this, but in Maui, there's literally no street lights, okay, at night. I was out at 8 o'clock and it felt like I was fighting demons. It was so dark, okay? So I don't know how they did that. And there's like cliffs and roads and all this crazy shit. No way, Jose. I was like, uh-oh, I'm doing the morning one, and I'm coming back home when the lights, when the sun is out, okay? So, I'm just gonna get ready. What y'all think about this hat? I ain't got this hat from Gucci, because you know your girl's a Gucci girl. I think I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Gucci girl. I'm just gonna put it on my right. What y'all think? I love it, honey. Love it. Alright, and then the top is Lulu Lemon. Um, there's a bathing suit underneath and oh, let me check it out. And I got some of these little islandy shorts from Old Navy back at home. So yeah, definitely gonna vlog it for you guys. See you soon. See you later. Got a blast.
all right guys so there is some scenery here so this is the tour and i only got a little bit of clips but in this clip we started off at a sh old sugar mill turned into like a resort and had breakfast there it was so beautiful you could see all the mountains in the back um i was just in awe and this was just the beginning of the tour so you could just imagine how beautiful the rest of the tour was now we're actually we in the tour bus long, taking I mean, our drive right up to, you right to all the way down. hana this is so actually there's a this smooth stuff. sightseeing um we oh, passed the rainbow good. trees if you are one of my students you know we read about the rainbow trees i was so excited to actually see it in person but see, yeah so, how many of you guys tasted poi before did you guys taste it boy before yeah. yes did you guys like it no no oh too bad <laughs> that's our starch yeah, in the last clip you heard our tour guide, he was actually phenomenal. If you ever take a tour in Maui, I suggest you book with them. They're Tour Maui. For you guys, what does this sign say right here? Road closed. Okay. You see this sign? It wasn't me. Okay, so this is one of our first stops. You can stop at a waterfall and you're able to swim in it. Do you think I got in it? No. What does this sign say again? To what? All right, so now you can see we are in the tour bus on the road to Hana. We are in the mountains, guys. As you can see, the scenery is phenomenal. And most famously, there's been three movies that have been filmed in Hana or on the mountains. Most famously is Jurassic Park. Um, Hawaii 5 and Dirty Dancing. This was just a beautiful view. You could just see some of what I've seen. A bitch. Yes. It's the one that you you wanted them to take picture of, remember? Yes. The big waterfall. It's gonna be on your side now. See? Sing it! What did you say? I thought you wanted us to sing the song. <laughs> I was singing the song. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. To your left. Sing it. Okay, you know, you guys should be very happy and very fortunate that I'm the only tour driver that makes his people sing waterfalls all day. <laughs> oh, there's tourists. Look, there's tourists. Did you see her face? Yeah. I had like two more feet on my right side. <laughs> Did you guys see that? So they decide to throw the feral cats into the rainforest here. That's why we call it mountain lions. They are spayed and neutered 
and they're actually very healthy cats. Because we have people that come out here every single day and feed these animals out here. I don't know if we can get shaved ice ice cream. She closes in 15 minutes. Power up. What the hell? How am I supposed to call her up when she... There's no service out here. That's my country. Today is Monday the 22nd. Today is my last day in Maui. <laughs> really want to shed a tear because it's really been so beautiful and I know my voice is going but it was just because last night the girl was in the rainforest and that was like really fun to see really fun to do um, oh shit it was a lot of but today we are going on a helicopter ride yes we're going on a helicopter ride because I have never been I've always wanted to do a helicopter ride. and fun fact if you didn't know um, the beginning scenes of Jurassic Park were filmed in the rainforest in Maui so um, hopefully we'll be able to see that I don't remember what I booked I hope I booked that but I already the tour to Hana you get to actually drive through the forest with this the helicopter ride you get to actually um, fly through it so hopefully I'm able to show footage of that on my camera um, finally found the charger like it's been a crazy trip but it's been a well worth it trip but yeah I'm so excited like yeah I'm really getting on a fucking helicopter I'm sorry for that but I'm really getting on a, um, on a helicopter like, just like so happy so blessed like so yeah i'm just so excited so hopefully you guys get to see the footage if you don't just know i did it i'm really gonna post pictures on, on instagram on hopefully tiktok when i figure out how to work tiktok i'm an old lady in my head in my heart i'm old lady so yeah um i got like about 15 minutes until my taxi comes so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my face, um, put some gasoline on, and yeah, get ready. So, see y'all later. Got blast. to see the takeoff so this is my first and only helicopter ride i've ever done super excited wasn't able to take off take my camera and my phone so i just opted for my phone and as you can see we are flying over the ocean girl i never thought i would but i did yes it was so beautiful and as you can see you can see the coral straight through the ocean water and what are those different colors they're not animals they are the clouds i thought we were gonna see whales <laughs>
All right, as we're flying over to the next mountain, you guys can see that I am on a full tour with a family of four, but they were so nice and so helpful. I wish I caught their names, but I have no idea who they are. But right now we're flying over the island next to Maui. I'm not really sure what it's called, um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful scenery, phenomenal experience. All right, so now we are flying over the next island over. I'm not really sure which one this one is called, but we are actually inside of a deactivated volcano that hasn't been that hasn't erupted in a while and now greenery is surrounded. So as you guys are enjoying the scenery, like I told you guys before, we are actually flying in a deactivated volcano. The turbulence and wind here do not be fooled by the calm waters was very, very bad. We, the, the plane was going everywhere. But it's okay. We made it through. It was still beautiful to see. Um, also, we learned a lot about the island of Hawaii. We learned that Maui used to actually be the capital, but it's no longer the capital. I think Oahu is. And also that Maui used to be the one of the biggest islands, but it is unfortunately breaking off. Also, we learned that one of the islands is owned by a billionaire. He owns 98% of that island. Also, that there's an island that's uninhabitable because it was used during World War II as a place to have like test grenades. So there is still active landmines on the island. They're waiting for the U.S. government to actually clean it. It's such I, I had no idea about this, and I act and I teach students, so it was such an informative type of tour. Um, I would suggest anyone that is going out to Mali to take one of these tours and see how much history is actually within, um... Hey y'all, I know I look a mess, but don't worry about it. Um, right now it is 4.36, um, Hawaiian time, and it's my last day! This is my last night here, I'm actually getting ready to, um, leave, check out, and head to the airport. Let me tell y'all, this has been the best soul location I've ever had. Well, actually, it's my first one. But this is definitely going to be a thing for me. Because not only do I feel relaxed, like, ready to, like, get back to work and everything. It's just something about being alone with yourself and being okay with being alone that just feels amazing. I promise you, I might come back by the end of the end of the year like the locals are telling me how like september october -ish is like a good time to come because it's after all the rush and after all the summer break I mean, yeah summer break people come i might have to run this trip up, up again i don't know maybe not solo this time maybe like with like family or friends or something but this is a must trip and oh i didn't even talk about my helicopter ride that was amazing that was well worth it i loved it like oh sometimes it was scary because there's a part where you get to go into like one of the islands is like basically you're inside of a um, volcano but it's um deactivated or whatever so there's greenery in it so you don't know it's a volcano unless the tour guide tells you but you're literally inside a volcano Hopefully, I'm able to show you guys that, but that shit was so amazing. That was another check off my bucket list. I literally did maybe four things off my bucket list um, this trip, and it was just, like, amazing to just accomplish those goals. So, I hope you guys follow, keep following my YouTube page and follow my journey, but this trip, yes, check, 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 check. This trip was it.
Okay? All right, y'all. Next time y'all see me, I'm probably going to be back in Palm Beach. All right, guys, I'm on my last flight, and this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and wait for my next adventure. All right, got a blast. Mm -hmm.